What's up guys? Welcome back for another one. I just got done doing a tire rotation, lowered the rear a little bit. I haven't gone for a drive yet. Hopefully it's not too, too low. But uh, today, finally, we mean to do this for a little bit. Um, I'm going to install a Haldex switch. I was looking at my drawer actually. I already had plenty of 16 gauge wire here. So I'm going to run to the store, get uh, what's it called the, the shrink stuff for the wire and a switch. I'm going to wire the switch up in the uh, center console and I'll run the wires back down to, uh, I believe it's the ground. I don't know. A buddy of mine in Denver uh, showed me the wire to tap into. So I'll just tap the wire to that, drill a hole, mount the switch, do a little bit of soldering, and uh, we'll get a hot switch. I don't know. I might just test it out here in the driveway, do a quick burnout or something. I don't have anybody to come out with me. Uh, it's like any roads or anything to record for me and I don't want to set up the camera and just do a burnout and then risk someone getting pissed and not being able to go back and get my camera or something along those lines so I might just do it right here we'll see I'm gonna run to the store grab a switch and uh, wire up a Haldex switch so Advance didn't have any but I found one here it was like 10 bucks. Boom. I'm gonna stick it right about here so when I close this, it'll hit the red part and uh, enable the Haldex again. So I'll open it, hit the switch, do my burnout, close this, and uh, it'll turn it back on. Let's see here, what did it cost? 10.99 for the thing. And I just, just did a tire rotation like an hour ago and then Walk out to the car, and I gotta nail my tire. So now I get to deal with that. The car's a little bit low. It's about even now. After taking the back seats out, it uh, the back was sitting up a little bit higher, but I think they're about about good now. Maybe I'll lower it a tad bit more. But as I was checking that out at Advance, I noticed this goddamn screw in my tire, so I get to pull that off and patch that. But uh. Before I do all that, we'll do this this Haldex stuff. One more thing here before we actually get started. My boy Galen didn't want his, so he sent me these. I got one for each side. Pretty cool. It kind of like comes up on the edge. It's not the prettiest. I'm going to take some heat to it uh, here after a day or so, but uh, I dig it. Looks good. All right, so first things first, the wire that you're going to mess with here is this brown and blue. Um, I'm going to chop it further down in here. I'm going to pop this out, move this, and then do it down there. And I'm going to route the wire down and up through. We'll take this off, which is very, very simple. If you've never done it before, you got these like two little spots right here. You'll pull back and lift up, and then this whole assembly comes out. Then you'll draw your hole through, uh, put in your switch, wire it up, and then I'll probably lift up, do that side too, lift up this carpet. That way I can route it route the wires through. I'll probably grab a hanger or something or something. That way I can get it over there. I'm gonna hide it real nice so you're not gonna see any split wires or anything, but I mean it's already kind of bare back here. This is how I daily the car. But uh yeah. So this is how you do this. You set your fingers in these two little slots. It's gonna lift and whoop. Boom. Easy. And then uh, Right here's where you'll drill through however you want to mark it or just estimate but uh you're just gonna drill through and you can uh set your switch in i'm gonna wire the wiring to the switch first and then install it and then i'll lift up you see you got a little bit of carpet right here you can kind of maybe pull up you might have to take a knife to it cut a slit but uh yeah gotta see down here all right, so this is my first attempt at trying to fish the wire through. I just uh, bundled it up a bunch. I got two extensions in here, and I can give it plenty of relief that I can uh, just, assuming I can get the wire just to slide right up against this, pop out, and then I'll uh, go from there. Hopefully this method works. I don't feel like really popping these off and trying to lift the carpet. It's pretty, pretty tight once you get right here. It doesn't want to, the wire just kind of bundles up. So hopefully this method works kind of keeping weight on this and I got my fingers down here lifting up the carpet 
show them this. I'm just gonna feed it through with this. Oh, well, I already got it. Get the tip. Boom. Nice. Now we got wire. That's good. Now I, I should have did these in different colors so I know which one's which. I don't feel like an idiot. Uh, but I will unwind them and I will figure it out that way and then mark them. And just so you don't forget, you want to slip these babies on at some point. Um, the shrink wrap. Yeah. I took the cables, just kind of routed them across here, bring them down. I popped out this little little rivet, just a little easy guy to pop out. Now, like I said, this is brown and blue. We're gonna snip it, wire it in real nice, get some solder on it, button all this back together, and then we'll drill our hole and then. Uh, We'll hook these up to the switch to make sure, you know, it's right, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. It's a pretty easy, easy going thing, maybe cost you 20 bucks to do, and, uh, you show off to your friends, you can do front wheel drive burnouts, or just say that your car is front wheel drive at like a meet or something, and then go out and launch hard on them. I don't know. Whatever you may do. Now, mind you guys here, I am not an electrician by any means. I have very little, uh, what's it called, soldering experience, so this might be a little cringy to some of you guys, I apologize. Last time I did any sort of soldering was probably four years ago or so when I had to extend my math for my Mark IV R32 when I supercharged it, and I had a table and stuff. This is, I'm, I'm kind of doing it on the floor in the car, so it's definitely not going to be pretty, but it's definitely going to work, I know that much but don't don't flame me too much <laughs> once you get your uh, soldering done got your shrink stuff a little bit of heat on them a little bit of flame here secure that shit right up Bueno. I'm actually, actually very, very surprised here that I got this uh, hole right the first time. So I kind of just uh, focus. I kind of just started drilling like right below the different types of plastics here and made the hole bigger from the back. But uh, for a test fit, you know, lift. On and then it closes itself. Fuck yeah. And there's no like issues like this isn't sitting up higher or anything. It's literally perfect. So it's not tight yet. You see it's kinda loose. I need to tighten it. I need to run the wire still, but boom. Nice. Very nice. Very excited. So it's starting to get dark here, but I do have one marked a darker with some marker on it. So I'm a Throw the switch up here real quick, turn the car on, uh, see what it does. Uh, that way I know if I need to switch the wires for on and off, but uh, that's the last step. See if it works. If it throws code as soon as I turn the car on, then I know it's already set to on. If it doesn't, then it should be perfect. Alright, here we go here. The switch is set to normal, so it shouldn't throw any crazy codes. It's not yet. Oh yeah, it already is. So right now, you see all that falling up. So I just got to switch the wires and I'm good to go. I didn't have to turn the car on. Like on one. Sweet. Alright. So I switched the wires around. Testing. System ready. Uh oh. Well after about five minutes of being confused, I realized um, switches are made to be a switch <laughs> so on you're allowing power through right off you're not allowing power through but when this was set to off it wasn't allowing power through uh, therefore it was the opposite of what I wanted because it wasn't letting the Haldex be on so when this switch is on um, 
you know, it's, it's just backwards. So basically there's a little tab in here. I cut the little tab off because it was to like align this. I just flipped the switch upside down. Now it works right. Um, I'm gonna sink it all down and put everything back together back there and then we'll go out for a drive. It's pretty much dark out now, but I'll see what I can do. My neighbor's out mowing, of course, when I'm trying to do a burnout in my driveway. <laughs> but uh, I'll see what I can do. I apologize for how shitty this video is, but it's nighttime. My normal road is kind of, they, they like cover it in like little rocks and shit, so somewhere weird. My radar's not going off, so we'll see. We'll flip the switch. Boom. the same time as the GoPro. Alright, I'm recording the same time as the GoPro, so you guys are seeing this footage, but uh, I'll just do a baby one. See now, I believe if you hold, you gotta hold the e-brake. Yeah. Oh yeah. You see the smoke? Nice! We're doing burnouts. Fuck yeah. You boys happy. See, look, now I just close this, it goes off, you get to reset the light, turn the car off, Testing. turn it back on. Ready. That light should go away eventually, but uh, now we can do burnouts. That's pretty sick. Always happy. See, look, now I just close this, it goes off, you get to reset the light, turn the car off. Testing. Turn it back System on. System ready. I know it's a sad excuse for a burnout video, but uh, eventually, I don't know, one of these weekends I'll get Brandon or Michael or Jesse, somebody that isn't busy or at work. No, no one's available at the moment. Um, I gotta get ready for work. I gotta be at work in like 45 minutes. But it works. It's hooked up. There you go. It's pretty simple. $10 part at the store and then, Jesus, here's Jesse. What up, Jesse? We're in the middle of a vlog. You got something nice to say? Nothing, hold on. Uh, anyway, yeah. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, let me know down below. The wire I used, I think, was 16 gauge, and it's, uh, it's pretty simple. Easy, fun. Um, I'll probably never really even use it. Maybe use it at the track every now and again if I'm like going, trying to break my 60 foot or something. I don't know. But it's there if you need it. Hope you guys appreciate it. Uh, make sure you drop a thumbs up, and I'll catch you on the flip flop.